I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. Hello and welcome back to Ebony Expressions. Today I'm going to be showing you how I took this Rosa Beauty hair and turned it into beautiful blonde locks. The hair I received is Malaysian Loose Wave. In the length, 16 inch frontal and three 24 inch bundles. This hair is so beautiful and the texture is loose wave. So as you can see, the hair is very curly and bouncy and very full. So the first step that I took was to lay down a towel and on top of that towel I have this green sticky plastic just to protect the towel from damaging and I just laid the hair out and began to brush it out as you see here. So next I went ahead and got my products together. I'm using the BW2 bleach and the 40 developer is the main developer that I used. I also decided to use the blonde out products as well to kind of make sure that the hair was taking more of a blonde type, type of a look rather than more of a bronze red look. And then I just went ahead and start putting the hair, um, putting the bleach on the hair at the ends and work my way up. Quick disclaimer, I would not recommend using bleach without gloves on or the proper protection. I did put on gloves after this clip because I remembered to put them on. However, I do regret not having them on from the beginning. You will potentially burn your skin. Bleach is a chemical. So after this, I did receive some a slight chemical burn on my hands and on my arms and I would not have received them if I had gloves on. So please, please, please put gloves on. As you can see here, I, I decided to take my wide tooth comb and comb out the hair just a little bit just to kind of distribute the bleach all throughout the hair. Now, I do not recommend doing this because it's not good to, to comb the hair out when you bleach it. However, I was being stubborn and I really wanted to make sure that all of the bleach was touching every piece of hair. So that's what you see me doing here. After I was sure that every piece was coated in bleach, I went ahead and put each bundle and the frontal in aluminum foil just to ensure that the hair would process correctly and will process quickly. So the next step after you bleach your hair is to wash out that bleach, girl. You want to make sure that you get all the bleach out to stop the process of the color, the color dyeing so that your hair doesn't end up at two different colors or three different colors in each bundle and frontal. So I went ahead and took the Ion Color Therapy Line Shampoo and also the Tresemme. Uh, I, th I believe that's the touchness the soft touchness line and I shampooed with that and then I went ahead and conditioned with the Aussie Moist conditioner and the Tresemme color protection conditioner After you've lifted your hair to the perfect blonde or whatever color that you were hoping to achieve, you want to take your frontal and measure it to your head. As you can see here, I just laid it on top and kind of just put my fingers where my ears were and kind of felt where the frontal needed to stop on my head. So because I did not have a white pencil in my house, I used concealer and I just marked the frontal and the wig cap to show myself where each piece would start and stop on my head. Um, so I knew where to sew down the frontal properly and to save time that way So that's what you see me doing here is just making sure that I have three tick marks Which show where the frontal stops on the back of my head and the crown of my head and on the sides next to my ears as well 
I did not show how I sewed my hair down to this wig cap because I believe there are so many videos on how to make a wig on YouTube already. If you guys would like me to show you my process, I can. However, I just did not record that in this process. So I had my mother braid my hair back into just a few straight backs. That's all you need. And I bought a nude flesh tone stocking cap at the beauty supply store and I'm taking my invisible, the clear, got to be glued. I want to stress use the clear, it's much better than the white and the yellow tube. And I'm putting that all around my edges. I'm sure you guys have seen this method. This is my first time trying this method and I will have to say that it is amazing. I've been having this wig on for the past three to four days and I haven't taken it off because that's a long process to go through every day. However, this saved me so much time. It looks so natural and I received so many compliments on this hair just because of how natural it looks because of this process in particular so I put the product all across my edges and I'm just going to let it dry now um, you will see in the next few clips that I'm using my blow dryer to speed up the process but after a while I got tired of doing that so I just kind of took a break for about 20 to 30 minutes and let it air dry and did some things went and ate talked to my family walked around walk the dog fed the dog whatever and let it dry you want to make sure that it's completely dry because if it's not your wig will not lay down properly okay if i need to say it again i will but please let it dry do not rush the process so it is now completely dry as you can see and i'm going to cut away the excess I guess stocking cap from the edges what you want to make sure is that your stocking cap is only on your edges you don't want it to be too too far down on your scalp and you also don't want it to be too far back where your hair is exposed um, you want to make sure that it's covering all of your hairline but also giving you enough wiggle room to protect your your skin and your hair and then I'm going to place a little bit more got to be glued gel on the edges to lay down the excess that lifted up on the ends and I'm going to make sure they dry as well before I put my wig on. So as you can see here, I'm just brushing out the hair to make sure it's all smooth and detangled. And that is the frontal. I'm just gonna place it on my head here. Hey. Rain drop, drip, drop top, drop top, smoking no cooking the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. Hey. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody, grit the trick, nobody. Call up the gang and they come and get gang. Call me your river, give you. The next step is to lay that frontal down. So I took some of my foundation and actually placed it on top of the stocking cap to make sure that it looked a little more natural, a little less bright, and looked a lot more natural. So that's why it looks browner in that scene. And I'm also laying this frontal down. This is the second time that I had to lay it down because it was very hot the day that I decided to film this. And it was about 90 degrees outside, which made my house about 80 degrees. So I was sweating the entire time doing this video um that's why i had to go ahead and redo it and relay these edges down and in this clip you'll see that i will take my scarf to also let it set for about 10 to 15 minutes before i decided to um, actually start start curling my hair this a rolling not a mula dabbing on them like the usual magic with the free do voodoo magic court side with a bad bitch then i send the bitch through uber I'm young and rich and plus I'm bougie. I'm not stupid, so I keep the ooze. He's on records, get back, get some back, so my money making my back. Hey. You niggas got a low act. We from the north, yeah, that way. So this hair looks so beautiful in this clip, and this color turned out perfectly. This is the exact color that I was looking for. However, this hair was way too long. I did not want um, my hair to be too much, but this summer, I really wanted something a little more natural and a little more cute, so I decided to cut off about three inches from the bottom, and doing so made the hair look so much more natural, made the hair so, look so much thicker, and so much healthier now that the ends that had all of the dead 
hair was cut off hardest part is over it's time for my favorite part the styling of the hair so i am taking about four different products i'm taking the color ion leave-in conditioner and detangling shine mist and my garnier routine flat iron protector and also this diamond gloss that my mom had in her room that i love to give her and i'm using that to protect the hair from heat and i'm going to start curling the hair as you can see in this place Raindrop, drop top, drop top, smoking, no cooking, a hot box. Cooking on your bitch, yeah, dot, dot, dot. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. I don't try nobody to grip the trigger. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get gang. Call me a river, give you a tissue. Raindrop, drop top, drop top, smoking, no cooking, a hot box. Raindrop, drop top, drop top, smoking, no cooking, a hot box. Raindrop, drop top, drop top, smoking, no cooking, a hot box. Raindrop, drop top, drop top, smoking, no cooking. So now that my hair is completely curled, it's time to lay those edges, honey, and cut the layers into the hair so it looks a little more natural and it's not completely thick and just all one length. I would like to get to know if I could be The kind of girl that you could be down for Cause when I look at you I feel something tell me That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on
finished product. Yeah. Okay, so this is the finished product. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I don't even say it's a tutorial because I didn't really give too many tips. Hopefully I'll, um, I said enough in the voiceover so you guys kind of got an understanding of what I did. This hair, if I didn't say it before, once again, is from Rose Beauty Hair. Um, hair company, they sent this hair to me to review. They sent me the Mala Malaysian loose wave hair. I've never had Malaysian hair, but this hair is so soft, like so soft. Even after um, it came to me in its natural texture, as you saw in the beginning, when I first received the hair, it was in its natural state, which was its natural color and um, texture, which was that beautiful loose wave. I ended up dyeing this hair. I wanted to try something new. I've never tried blonde hair, so this is my first time wearing blonde hair. Um, excuse my appearance. I'm not dressed. I just it's hot. It's hot as heck here in Illinois, and I'm burning up, so I'm not putting on makeup because it's just gonna melt off my face. Um, but anyways, I'm going to try blonde because I've never tried blonde. Um, my 21st birthday is coming up soon. So I wanted to try something different and just kind of switch it up, um, on myself and on the, the world real quick. And I really think this hair came out really nice, um, for me to have never dyed hair before, you know, um, only dye I've used before is like dark and lovely chocolate brown to dye my, uh, last Rose of Beauty hair, chocolate brown, and that was nice. It took to the color very well on the Brazilian hair I had, but, you know, it's my first time using Malaysian hair. It's my first time using a full frontal that I will actually be able to see the whole frontal because, um, in my last frontal that I had from Modern Show Hair Company, you couldn't see, I couldn't even, I, I messed it up, basically. So I couldn't do this, you know, this was not possible. I didn't have, you know, all my hair, you know, out. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm really appreciative of the company for sending me this hair. Um, one thing I will say though, is that um, this hair, when I first dyed it, I had to bleach it twice, as you saw before. Um, I bleached it twice. The first time I bleached it, I went ahead and um, bleached it and I did, where the bottom layer, the bottom layer I wanted to be darker than the top, definitely. So you could see like the different um, colors of blonde in it. And um, I did them in different lengths. So some, the back, the black, you know, the natural hair is still up to about here. And then it just kind of keeps going up as you go up so that the roots were still, you know, nice and black. So it looked more natural. Um, Cause I didn't want to do, I didn't want to, I don't want to do full blonde. And when I first did that, the hair actually did have a red tone. Like that's normal for um, hair when you dye it um, or bleach it. It did turn gray. So I had to take the red, red out or red off or something like that <laughs> color and blonde, blonde it or something like that, blonde stay or something like that um, to make it more blonde and take away the red, and make it more golden. Um, I wanted a more golden blonde rather than like a blonde, like a platinum right so I don't want it to be too too light I want it to still look natural on me where um whenever I did wear my hair this way the second time I did it it took very well that's why that's how I got this nice natural blonde coloring um the biggest thing for me was just making sure the frontal was the right size for my head because I've had issues with that in the past where I cut the frontal too short so then I couldn't even wear the frontal fully or um vice versa sorry I keep looking at myself in the mirror because I'm like trying to still be used to this blonde or whatever um so after I made the wig I went ahead and plopped it on my head today my mom braided my hair down I just have four straight back or five four or five straight backs and I just kind of um plopped this wig on on top as you guys saw in the clips um this hair is very soft after I did bleach it I did wash and condition it twice so I washed it shampooed it twice conditioned it twice and the second time that I did it um I the frontal that I did, the frontal was much lighter than the hair before I had continued to lighten it. So I had to take the bleach and along with the red and the blonde out stuff to, you know, get it back to where I needed it to be so that it would blend better with the hair. Um, another thing that I had to take into consideration was, you know, making sure that I didn't over bleach it so that the hair wasn't, you know, damaged. So the biggest thing that I had to do was deep condition. So yes. You know, when I, before, after I bleached it for the second time, I did deep condition this hair for about 30 minutes to an hour just to make sure that um, the hair would still be good and like 
healthy, right? And I wanted a blunt cut. I didn't want my hair all the way down to my butt because I felt like it looked and it felt like more of a stripper video vixen Instagram model type thing. And I didn't want to be, I'm not an Instagram model, I'm not a video vixen, I'm not a stripper. I'm a college student. Like I want to look normal, you know? And I want to look like this could be natural. Like this looks really nice. I really like this. Um, so I cut it to this length and I really am satisfied with this length. I'm really satisfied with this hair. It's very thick, which I like because then it makes it easier. It makes it look, you know, more voluptuous. And as I continue to wear it, it will, um, you know, thin out a little bit. But I like when my hair is thick. I like thick hair. I like thick, healthy, long, beautiful, like, what? And now I have my style for the summer. And I'm really excited. I don't know if I would lighten it anymore. Um, because I kind of really am starting to get comfortable with this being blonde. Um, I will let you guys know I did not bleach my knots. I might go back and bleach my knots later. I usually don't bleach my knots on any of my wigs, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't really see the need for it. Like, once again, I will let you guys know um, how this hair does in a while. Um, I'll keep you guys updated and stuff. And if you want to see like how I would style this hair, because, you know, because it is a frontal, like, I can do like, other things. I can do like... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, you guys, I'm so excited. You guys don't understand. So, um, this is pretty much the end of the video. Thank you so much to Rosa Beauty for sending me this hair. Thank you so much to you, the supporter, the viewer, the watcher, the subscriber, for watching my channel and catching up with me again in this clip. If you want to see some old videos of me, check out the description box below because I have them below or they'll be on the sides. And also, if you want to keep up with me, follow me on all of my social media. I am Miss Ebony with three O's on Instagram and Twitter. So keep up with me there. I'm actually about to stop using my Snapchat. So go ahead and keep up with me on those two social media platforms. And I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions that I did not touch on in this video, please leave them below and I will comment back to you as soon as I can. If you have any videos that you would like to see me do in the future, send me some suggestions, y'all. Hit me up. I'm very friendly and I'm very open to suggestions. So thank you.